Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Books. In this video, we will explore the work of Norwegian artist Edvard Munch and try out brushes that I've made that emulate some of his brushes. I'll also show stages of despair, sick mood at sunset, hope that I painted inspired by Monk's original piece. Edvard Monk was a forerunner of Expressionism, a mixed media artist, painter, and printmaker. He was also known as a symbolist who explored many themes, often focused on emotions. Monk often worked in series. For instance, there are four known versions of The Scream, created between 1893 and 1910, and multiple versions of Melancholy and Despair. In the upper left, we have two versions of The Scream. The one on the left was created with oil, tempera, pastel, and crayon on cardboard. The one just to the right of it was created with pastel on cardboard. And then the painting that our tutorial is going to focus on, Despair, Sick Mood at Sunset, was oil on canvas. And then you see another version of his despair theme to the right of it. Below are three versions of his melancholy theme created with various media. On the left, we have Monk's original Despair, Sick Mood at Sunset painting, and my final painting inspired by Monk, created from scratch in painter with the Monk brush set and my Wacom tablet. To brighten my painting and allude to hope, I used a slightly lighter color palette and more saturated color. Also, I added a little space to the left and right to give more space to the distant men on the bridge and to the main character in the foreground. Now let's have a look at some of the brushes. I loaded my Monk Brushes category into Painter. And I'm going to click here on this arrow to open the brush selector. And at the bottom of the category list, you'll see my Monk brushes here. And then on the right, you'll see the variants. So there are a variety of sketching tools, like the real sketching pencil and grainy cover crayon, etc. And also some wet media brushes. I began my painting with a sketch. Before sketching, I'm going to choose a dark gray color in the color panel. And as you can see, the real sketching pencil is very expressive. I looked at the original painting by Monk as I sketched. On the right is a stage of the underpainting. As you can see, I'm painting on the canvas and I am painting right over my pencil sketch. And to lay in the first color for my underpainting, I use the real short filbert chosen here. The real short filbert is a great brush for laying in color efficiently. And you can also blend color as you're laying in color. Now I'm going to hold down the Option key to sample some orange, and then I'm using my 6D art pen that allows me to turn the brush, and I can just add some more color to the sky, like so. It's a very expressive brush. And I'm just going to make a, a vertical mark here, broader, and I could turn it like this to make a narrow mark. That's the real short filbert. As I painted with the real short filbert, I looked at my reference. As you can see in this stage of the underpainting, most of the areas are covered with color, and I've continued to choose color from the color panel or sample color from my document, and I've continued to lay in color on my underpainting. Working on the canvas is allowing me to mix new strokes and color with existing color and move the paint around, smear as I lay down new color, depending on the pressure that I'm applying. The real short filbert has artist oils capability. In the next stage, I added shadows to the bridge and more color complexity and shadows to the background hills. For this work, I used the wet round camel hair brush 
and this expressive brush changes its width based on pressure applied to your stylus and it also has artist oils capabilities which allow you to beautifully mix new paint with existing paint. So right now our size is 30 so I'm going to lower it to about 16. Now I'm going to hold down the Option key, Mac, Alt key, Windows, and I'm going to sample color here on the bridge. And I'm just going to pull some more stroke shadows down so that you can see how the brush works. Very beautiful brush. That is the wet, round camel hair. And I also used it for these strokes here and these gold strokes here. I added a few strokes with the brush down here as well. Now I opened a detail here that I saved during my painting process and you'll see I'm experimenting with some color activity in here in the dark green area. Look at Monk's work right here where he's broken up this dark area, probably some foliage, maybe some darker water with a lot of different strokes. So he has a lot of color activity painted in here. And this is what I wanted to achieve right here. This is only a start. You know, I'm experimenting with some colors here. For the next stage, I used the wet clumpy camel hair and the wet filbert camel hair to add more brush interest to the hills, mid-ground, and dark foreground area. So let's have a look at the wet clumpy camel hair. I'm just going to pull some strokes along here on the hill and you see that it's allowing me to move existing paint as I apply new paint and I'm going to make a blue stroke in the sky so you can really see what this brush does. See we've got trail off, this brush has artist oils capability and then it gives you kind of a bristle brush interest as well, that's the clumpiness. Now let's have a look at the wet filbert camel hair. The wet filbert camel hair is a flatter brush so we can turn our stylus, our 6D art pen, to make a narrower stroke. Uh, and if we press hard we apply more new paint, lighter less paint, and if we hold it this way we make a narrower stroke and you see it doesn't have the clumpiness that our clumpy brush had and let's zoom into this area right here and you'll see the strokes that I made I uh, sampled and pulled strokes let's reduce the size of our brush a bit so I can pull strokes here I sampled some blue and you see for this area I'm going to sample some more color here. This area, I just painted dots or short strokes of color on top of color to add texture to some of areas, like for instance, the water and the sky. I used the Grainy Drip Blender, and this is a brush that paints best on the canvas. So I'm just going to pull this so you see it allows me to move paint and add texture. I'm going to zoom out a bit and we're going to work on this area of the sky because I wanted to emulate some of the texture that Edvard Munch had in his sky and we can do that with the grainy drip blender and watch as I pull over these blue how it allows us to move color and get that texture. Let me zoom in and see that similar texture that we're able to achieve with this brush. Now here we have the final stage on the right and Monk's original piece on the left. For the final stage I used the grainy cover crayon to crisp edges on the two men's hats. So let me zoom in here 
You can see the strokes right here. I'm going to reduce the size and sample color right here and show you how this brush works. I'm just going to make a stroke here like so. So to crisp the edge, I just went along the edges like this. Like so. And you see this stroke right here? That is made with the wet filbert camel hair. And to blend the men's faces, I use the gentle soft blender just to blend that a little bit because I want its brushy look on it, but I wanted it to be subtle. So let me show you how that blender works. I'll just blend this stroke that I made right here. And let's zoom back out. And let's travel down here to the front. Um, to finesse the collar and everything right here, I used the tiny wet palette knife. So let's grab the tiny wet palette knife and I'll show you how we can pull color. See, I'm able to take that shadow and pull that down longer. You can also come across and blend like that, but I'm going to undo that um, and just pull this color down. You could pull this up. And then I added some color here to reflect the sunlight, the way that it's hitting the, the railing of the bridge, and just hints of it on his coat. So to finish the piece, as I worked, I went back and forth between the wet filbert camel hair, real short filbert, and tiny wet palette knife, painting color over color and pulling one color into another with the tiny wet palette knife. So there you have it. Using these brushes, create your own painting inspired by Edvard Munch. Make it your own. Be expressive. Be inspired by the work of Edward Monk, just as I am. Have fun with the brushes, and happy painting!